Look what has arrived. The Lisa Eldridge products that I ordered a couple weeks ago. This includes her new uh, blushes and highlighter and some of her lipsticks and I am so excited to try these on. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I would love for you to subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and also give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. So let's get into trying some of these stuff. I got two highlighters. I got the Crystal Nebula and the Cosmic Rose. I got two blushes. This is the Pink Soap and I got Dante's Dream. And also three of her lipsticks. So one is Dance Card, Kitten Mischief, and Spirited Away. I didn't get any of her lip glosses just because I really don't wear lip glosses that much. And also this came free and I have, this is my third little pouch from Lisa Eldridge and I use them uh, as my everyday makeup. I really enjoy them. Now I did open these yesterday just to make sure everything was okay and I swatched the, um, the blushes and this one the dance dante's dream came out a very liquidy and as if the formula separated i did reach out to the support team and they just said you know sometimes in a warehouse they sit for a little bit and it can separate a little bit you could just shake it actually i stuck mine in the refrigerator and i think it's better we'll we'll try it on and see how it works but uh, that's something that i wanted to mention before we go ahead and start swatching everything okay let's start with the blush let's start with pink soap this one i had no issues with so this is the packaging it's very hard to tell because it's very bright um i'm using some natural light so i think that washes the color off a little bit this is um just a nice tube you unscrew the top and you squeeze for the product to come out so i'm going to start with pink soap on this side i will try my fingers and maybe I'll use a brush if I feel like I need to. So Lisa Eldris said that you need the minimum amount of this. So I'm squeezing kind of hard and getting just a little bit like that. Um, I only swatched them yesterday and you could kind of tell that they go a long way. First, I'm going to kind of spread it on my hand. Like that, that is pink soap. And then put it on my cheeks. Let me get a mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna dab it. And see how that does. That is a very soft and easy. I'm really enjoying that. And I think it blends in very, very easily. So this is just a very light layer of pink soap. Um, and this is kind of like the, her lightest shade. And it is very, very skin-like. Um, I wouldn't say it's super glowy or uh, matte. I think it's just a very natural finish. I'm going to take a little bit more and build it up. Let's see how, how much we can build this up. I'm going to take my brush and to use a blush to blend it out. I think fingers work just fine. Okay, so that is pink soap to build up just a little bit. It's still so natural, so seamless, and I'm really liking the finish. It's just easy to work with. I feel like you can't really mess this up because it blends in very seamlessly. Okay, let's move on to Dante's Dream. When I first saw this color, I was like, this is my kind of color. Okay, so 
I put it um, in the fridge and I think the formula has helped. And she also said to kind of squeeze around in case um, it has separated a little bit. So I have a little bit of Dante's Dream here. Now this is more intense um, than pink soap, as you can tell. So I'm gonna literally pat most of it off and just take a little bit of my finger and tap it here. And take my other finger, which is actually what she did mention um, in her video. It's something that I do all the time. And then I'm gonna take my brush, and let's see how it works with a blush brush. That is a tongue twister for me, blush brush. Um, let's see how we can build this up. Okay, so that is Dante's dream. I'm gonna try to build it up even more without looking like a clown. but I won't really wanna see the undertone and the color for this. All right, so we have pink soap right here and then Dante's Dream right here. Uh, let me look in a bigger mirror. So to me, pink soap seems like it is smoothing my skin more than um, Dante's Dream. Dante's Dream seems a little bit more textured and I will say that the formula seems a little different um, on the hand. The pink soap seems a bit more powdery, like it dries down more matte, and this one seems to have more glow. I don't know if um, if there's an issue with the formula or that it was meant to be that way, but for me, this gives a little bit more glow than the pink soap, and I'm not mad at it. I enjoy it but overall I can tell that the pink soap is just more smoothing on my skin um, than the Dante's dream but I do love the color of Dante's dream okay so really really enjoying both of these blushes I think they are so seamless on the skin they look beautiful and I'm really curious to see how long these will last because the formula is unique. It comes out a very thick, but as you blend it in, it becomes super emollient and thin. So um, I don't know if you guys can tell that this one right here has a little bit more glow than the pink soap that is a little bit more matte. It could also be the color and not necessarily that big of a difference in formula, but I enjoy both of these. Okay, moving on to the highlighters. I got two of them. I got Cosmic Rose and Crystal Nebula. So why I purchased two? Because one is supposed to be a bit more rose goldish uh, undertone and this, the Crystal Nebula, it's supposed to be a bit more gold. So I really like both. I really like a little bit of rosiness in my highlighter and a really nice light gold. So let's swatch them. It comes with a really big doe foot applicator. It's short, but the actual applicator is big. And then this, I think it's glass. It's a really nice um, packaging. Okay, so it is a very, very light in consistency. It's almost watery. It's see-through, it's not super intense. So let's um, blend this out a little bit. So that is Crystal Nebula. It's nice and reflective. And it's gonna look like skin, I can already tell. And then let's try Cosmic Rose. And that right here is Cosmic Rose, right? Yeah. So you have Cosmic Rose right here and then Crystal Nebula right there. You can definitely see quite a big difference in these two. One is a little bit darker and has a little bit more rosiness in it, and this one's quite bright, 
quite intense. Let's start with Crystal Nebula on the side where I put pink soap because that's a little lighter. So I'm gonna add a few dots here like that and use my fingers to blend this in. Okay, can you guys see? It is skin-like. That looks just like my skin just glowing a little bit. It almost reminds me a little bit of the M Cosmetics. Just a little bit. Like the fact that there's no shimmer in it. And it's just a glow. Oh, stunning. Let me put a little bit right here as well. And maybe, hmm, let me use a sponge. I'm use a small sponge to press this. The sponge is not wet, so it won't, it won't work as well. Okay, so that is a very light layer of Crystal Nebula. It is so skin-like and it's see-through. It doesn't have a really intense base, opaque, so you can see your skin, but it just gives this beautiful glow. Okay, let's move on to the rose one. So I'm gonna take a little bit here and blend it in. Okay, this is stunning. <laughs> I almost like this one more than the Nebula. I really love a little bit of rose in there. I hope you can tell on camera that it has just a slight shift and this is a little bit more warm. I am going to build both of them up so you can really see, but um, this is, more than enough like i would wear it just the way i had it before um but i want to see i want to make sure that the camera can pick it up okay so i build up the rose one stunning i even brought it in more here and it's not emphasizing any of my pores oh so stunning let's build up this one as well, just a little bit. I really like the formula. It is so light. It's very unique. Uh, most highlighters have a little bit more base to them. And this seems to be very, very um, like watery. Okay, I build this one up even more and I think you can definitely uh, now tell a difference on camera between the two sides. They both look stunning. I did not expect anything else from Lisa Eldridge. These are going to be staples in my collection and these are beautiful for weddings uh, because they're not too intense, but they give a nice glow. Honestly, I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury ones for weddings a lot because it gave just a beautiful skin-like finish. Um, but these I think will work even better because they have, they're, they're made to be highlighters. Okay, let's move on to lips. And I've never tried this formula. The only one that I've tried is the matte one and it's my favorite lipstick. I like the Velvet Affair. Every time I wear it, somebody asks me, what do you have on your lips? And she doesn't have it in stock, but I think she's going to um, restock it soon. So let's start with uh, Kitten Mischief. I think this is the one that she said that she kind of created it for herself because she wanted this nude color. So the packaging is similar. Yeah, they're actually the same. This is the matte one and this is the shinier one. 
Uh, this is Kitten Mischief, and she has her embossing right there, her little signature. So let's try it on. I have a little bit of lip liner, which I always have to use because my lips are not very defined. This one is Kitten Mischief. With a formula so, so soft. Wow, the formula is so smoothing. It's almost like a really moisturizing balm, but it gives pigment in this color. Mm, this is my color. Okay, so this is Kitten Mischief, and I think it's my perfect new color. It is so beautiful. With her, I just feel like her undertones are just so unique. There's a little bit of everything in there it, it just makes this perfect undertone i don't know how she does it well she has a ton of experience i think that's the unique thing about her lipsticks is that the undertone is so unique uh you can't really find these kinds of undertones easily on the market and she just she just knows what she's doing since she's been working in the industry for forever okay let's take this off but again this is kitten mischief and i love it next one let's do dance card and this is supposed to be was it go lightly that she came out with last summer uh, and this is supposed to be a little bit more toned down version of that Wow, I love this color so much. I knew I would like it the second she put it on. It is this beautiful corally pinkish color, but it's not too much to where you feel like you have to have an occasion to wear this. It's just a beautiful summery lip. Stunning, and I really like this color in the formula because it's also nourishing. So this is, uh, what is this? Yeah, this is Dan's card. And let's try Spirited Away. And this one is Spirited Away and oh, it's so pretty. It is a little bit deeper than the neutral one, which, which one was it? I keep confusing them, Kitten Mischief. So it gives you a little bit more color, but without it being too much. The formula, it's super soft and it's, it's not super opaque like her uh, matte formula, but you can build them up and I'm loving this. I actually wanna pat this and see how that looks. So I patted this color just a little bit and I love it even more. I feel like it just looks like you just ate some berries or something, at least on my skin tone. It just gives a little bit of color. I'm so, so excited for these. I'm gonna put on top of this a little bit the Kitten Mischief and just rock this today. So this is the full face with the products that I've tried. This is again Dante's Dream with the rose highlighter. This one is Pink Soap with the Crystal Nebula. And on my lips, I have a combination of Spirited Away and Kitten Mischief. And I'm loving it. I'm so excited. I just think it's such a perfect launch for the summer. And I'm really excited about those highlighter because they look like my skin. It just it just makes me look healthy and I'm loving this. Lisa Eldridge is definitely known for her complexion and just how she can make it look so seamless. 
and I was expecting nothing else from her to just come out with beautiful products that, you know, help us achieve that's a little bit similar to what she can achieve. I am so, so excited about these products. I know she said she's planning to restock some of the her things so I'll keep you guys updated uh when she does restock because I want to get some more blushes because I'm really liking it and I really like the packaging because just thinking of my makeup kit this is so easy to pack and carry and I don't know it's like painting things on I really enjoy it all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye